You don't have to see me. I need to see the screen. I know, I'll have to open it. <laughs> One second. It's so funny, you fell asleep while we were playing. Oh my god, I was so t I fell like right to sleep after. <laughs> oh, my game like crashed. No. Son of a bitch. I had to force myself to brush my teeth. <laughs> there was just a point where you were just silent, and I was like, she did it. <laughs> she fell asleep. I was so tired. <laughs> Can you see the game now? Or is it doing the dumb shit? I see just black. You don't see any of these logos happening? No. Well, for Pete's sake, you're gonna have to look at my... Oh wait, stream night in the woods. Can't see anything. How about now? Oh. Well, what the fuck, Discord? Fine, you're gonna have to look at my whole screen and my messy desktop. <laughs> look at it. I made it worse. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, I can't tell. <laughs> it was already pretty bad. <laughs> That's how bad it is, because I, I made it way worse. I guess this whole, most of this all stuff is new. Can you just make a separate folder that just shit that would be on my desktop that's now in this folder? Because I have all of that stuff needs to go into a place. I just haven't put it there yet. It's on my to, make to do a folder list. To be sorted. Yeah. And throw it all in there. No. Okay, are you ready? I am ready. Okay, slightly remind me of what happened before. <laughs> <laughs> so last night, May. Okay, what happened? Um, they got chased down, and then they're like, "Do you hear it too, May?" And we right. know it so was. there's a there's a cult in Possum Springs that's throwing like homeless people and immigrants into a pit and claiming it's for the black goat, who is bringing prosperity to the people that serve it. This is very Marvel's Runaways. Is it? They kidnap at-risk teens and sacrifice them to, to keep their alien I friend did, alive. I did not know this. I did not know this. <laughs> yeah. Um, so, Spoilers. So yeah, that's, that's what's going on here. And that's the point that the game kind of lost some people was the moment that it turned, it got a little... Confused. Okay, but clearly those people don't live in small towns because cults happen <laughs> in small towns and there's always a cult of people in small towns. There's one year that there are cannibals and cults. cults. You know. That's what happens. <laughs> Have anything to do with the church? No. The pastor, so the pastor is um, exactly who she appears to be. That's how you know it's fake. <laughs> we have opinions here. I'm fake geek girl. Fakes! <laughs> uh, and water. Dude, that's amazing. You can smell water? Hopefully it's not a river. Cave rivers are death traps. Mine river, we're in a mine. Right. Everybody's walking a lot faster than me. I just tell you can't know. jump. Hey, the Noah. Dystopia, the dystopia update my phone just gave me. Hmm. A Tesla Model X went off the road, careened over two curbs, and landed in the grass. The driver claims the autopilot unexpectedly took over moments before the crash. Oh. Yeah. Eerie. Alex made you go to town? So rude. Jeez. Josh went to town to get pizza. I mm. had frozen pizza. I can see the bottom. I don't think we're gonna die so, in okay. one foot of water. Right. Do you like the way I'm moving? Uh, so did people, like, lose it at the cult because it just wasn't like that? Um, I think Sorry, people, for the most town. part, felt that it didn't ma mesh with the rest of the <laughs> Holy shit, I don't remember that happening! Uh... Uh, people felt it didn't mesh with the rest of the game. I don't know that he can bring you pizza, it's gotten pretty bad here again. Bad here, we've gotten like another inch. Yeah, it's pretty gnarly. I know what you are now. I think I knew before, but you know, 
After I sent that kid to the hospital years ago, they said I had an anger problem, but that's not true. I was angry because of something else, something I'd lost, trying so hard since not to be angry, got me all defenseless, and I lost more and more and more. Oh, that's too many, that's too many inches, Nola. Too many. 18. I think Whoa. that's 17 too many. I think it's 18 too many. Maybe. I think it's 18 and a half too many. 18. You would rather have a negative snow? Yeah. That's what she said. <laughs> That's you not... Know, if it's 18... There's some total yeah. mismatch here. That's not getting better. I want to be angry. When I ran home from college on the bus, I had this dream. Or maybe I saw it out the window. Last leaf on the tree. Finally blown off. I'm so scared all the time. And the fear hurts. Feeling like everything is over was over long before I got here. So long hiding or trying to outrun this. I get it. This won't stop until I die. But when I die, I want it to hurt. It to hurt. When my friends leave, when I have to let go, when this entire town is wiped off the map, I want it to hurt bad. I want to lose. I want to get beaten up. I want to hold on until I'm thrown off and everything ends. And you know what? Until that happens, I want to hope again. And I want it to hurt, because that means it meant something. It means I am something, at least. Some laughing again. They haven't canceled work tomorrow? What are they doing? I worked only part of the day today because I was jealous of everybody else. <laughs> my work was apparently open, and my boss, I was talking to my boss, and she's like, she's like, I'm, she was mad because she said that the other manager, I, I realize now I can't say their names for the month's stream, uh, the other manager told, <laughs> told her to come in and she's like there's two other people here the office is not open yeah that's not open <laughs> make it in <laughs> pretty amazing to be something at least well you know oh you know i can't understand you right <laughs> Oh, shut up already. I know this won't save me in the end, but I don't need it to save me forever. I just need it to save me now. So if you're going to kill me right here, then do it. If not... May. Dude, you okay? Whoa. You got all sleepwalky there for a sec. You want me to carry you? No, I think I'm good. I'm just very, very tired. Hang here for a bit if you need to. We're safe. Uh-huh. Hey, there's light over here. Do you smell that? I bet he did. Can I go back in the water? Swimming. Okay, nothing happens. Watch us have like five minutes of this left. No. No, I know there's like another, there's another, <laughs> it's not, I was gonna say a big scene, but it's not really important. It's just something I remember. <laughs> Really? What is this? Might be a vent or something. Keep the miners from suffocating way back when. Oh, your tree's losing branches? No. We have a, a gnarly icicle. Like, you would not believe this icicle. It looks like... It looks like... I, I can't we got a good one. I'm legitimately concerned about it falling. Oh, God. <laughs> it's, it's a big... It's a big one. Is it thick? I love my thick icicle. Is it thick and long? It is. It is. Straight up. Kept, keep the miners from suffocating way back when. Looks old enough, at least. Brochure. Hello! We're down here! Don't ask us why, please! Could get lucky and someone's out here in the woods at night. I, I can try to make it out. No, I can, like... See some things you could platform on. Okay, yeah, are you up for this? Yeah or no? Yeah. Platforming queen. I hey. don't know. I'm like all hyper now. Like dolphins. Hyper like dolphins? No, like when your body is like, oh, whoa, I almost died. And you get all hyper because you're filled with dolphins. Okay, I'm seriously confused. Are you okay, May? Endorphins. Ah, uh, okay. <laughs> oh my God. There, thank you, those. <laughs> okay, well... Ride those dolphins up out of here. Ugh, that's assuming I can even do this. We'll watch. Okay. 
She's like extra slow right now too. Oh, cause she's dreamy. Yeah. She's had. I mean, she's had a fucking time. I'm not. I'm not judging. Oh. Yeah. But. The lag is severe. For me, the person who fucking hates platforming, it's bad news bears. Okay, it's not going too poorly. Remember what it looks I like you're just appearing in, in the next... The lag is so bad, it just looks like you're appearing in the next That's spot. That's how fucking good I am, Mary. I see that. I just think it. And there I am. It is. A secret. Yep. She emerges. Not looking hot. <laughs> She's doing her best. This place. Huh. Weird, the ring. Hey, May. <laughs> it's the <laughs> ring. <laughs> yeah, what are you doing out here? I live right up the hill. I heard Greg yelling. We were all stuck down there. You were at the bottom of the old well in my backyard? It's been a really bad night. Sounds like it. Got any rope or something? Yeah. Can you go get it? <laughs> hey, May. Yeah? Was that... Germ? Yeah, he's getting some rope. What is he doing out here? He lives here. In the woods? He's wheezing. My entire body hurts. That was a long way. I brought some sodas. You're the best, Germ. You need the sugar and caffeine. Oh. Oh, uh, anyone else want to get far away from this well? Yep. Germ, can you, like, I don't know, seal up this well? Hmm. I got dynamite. <laughs> what? <laughs> yeah, I mean, I can get some. How big an explosion is that? I mean, not small. Okay, that works. Thanks, Germ. <laughs> yeah, thanks, buddy. <laughs> um, okay. Bye, guys. You know. Normal. There goes a weird, weird guy. He saved our lives. Germ is good. Germ is a good man. It strikes me that we just murdered all of those dudes down there. How do you figure? Well, I mean, the elevator's broken and we caused a cave-in. That was self-defense. I guess, but we did sure. cause the deaths of like a dozen guys. No, 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 they're all still alive down there. Oh god. Yeah. Jeez. Well, we're blameless, they attacked us. One of them attacked us. So we're worrying about, like, it's morally gray. We're not murderers. Like, if we'd had a choice, we wouldn't have done it. I would have. Uh, what? They, like, killed people. They were trying to get us to kill people. Screw them. I don't even believe in hell, and I hope they all go straight there. Jeez, Angus. Well, that's what I think, at least. Hmm, this is like that trolley thing. What trolley thing? Okay, I'll explain it if we keep walking. The trolley problem, which we all now know no, because no, of the no, good no, place. No, yeah. Well, we knew. I because we're smart. I well, I don't. I never took well, any I philosophy courses. I. Uh, it was like the first thing that we learned in philosophy. I took a chain course, which is like philosophy, but also literature. We learned that one, and then we learned the, um, the one about okay to lie. Is it moral to lie? And it was like, if Nazis come and you're hiding mm. Jew pe Jewish people, um, is it okay? To, is it moral to lie to them? The answer yes. was yes. yes. <laughs> <laughs> also, also, I'm pretty sure my class decided it's also the moral thing to do to kill the Nazi. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I'm with your class. Like, you're morally obligated to kill the Nazi. I think that's what most of them <laughs> I did not said. take philosophy when I got stoned a lot as a teenager. <laughs> That's important. If you, if you don't take philosophy, then you better do that. It's true. Hey guys, uh, are you there? Anyone? Okay, I'm gonna type anyway. Hard for me to say anything smart about what the hell even just happened. Easier for me to get it all out here, and I need to talk, even if you jerks are off doing whatever. None of us asked for any of this. Oh my god, my face itches. And it didn't happen. It's it. 
I am. <laughs> it's gonna look like I'm picking my nose. And it didn't happen to us because we're like special. You can work as hard as you want, but the, uh, the universe is gonna keep doing what it does. And I don't think any of us deserved all this. This is all stuff that started long before we were born. It's all like moving so fast and you're dropped into it. And you're just trying to grab onto something. All of you are what kept me from floating off tonight. Also, you kind of killed that guy to save me. Don't think I don't. I didn't appreciate that. LOL. Oh well. <laughs> I don't know if I'm ever gonna understand what all just happened. I hope it stopped. I just feel like right now, feel right now, like all I want to do is wrap my arms around all of you. Not just because I love you, but to keep you all together with me. Wrap up into a ball, and no one can hurt us. Sorry, I'm rambling. Germ, buddy. Germ, you don't even use Messenger. I guess I'm just typing at you wherever you're at. Aww. B, you're definitely something. I'm so sorry about all you've gone through. I don't even understand all of your problems, but if I could, I'd fix them. I'd fix all of it, and I'd buy the tools to do it from your store. Or, like, borrow them, at least. A better friend would buy, but I'm what you got, and I'm glad. Yep, there it is. <laughs> now I'm just gonna erase all that. Oh, shit. Haha, <laughs> guys, I was just kidding about a lot of that. I'm really tired. I don't know what I'm saying. <laughs> Log off, May. Log off. It's done. It's not done. Yep. Changing of the seasons. Wake the fuck up. She probably deserved to sleep. Yeah, I guess. You know. Feelings. Let's look at this. Weather service. Snow in the forecast. Are you ready for what's coming your way? No! no. I, we all need witch dagger shirts. We're going to be number one fans of a fictional band. Ah. Hey, May. You okay this morning? I'm not opening the pickaxe today. Greg informs me we're doing band practice, though. I'll see you there. Hey, man. Nice messages last night. I mean, like, really. You massive dork, lol. Band practice today. Because I feel like we need to do something normal. I'm at the Snalkin. Hope you're feeling okay. <laughs> Sincerely, Gregory. Away message. It's good to be alive this morning. That's all. <laughs> Charcoal. Charcoal. He says, Hi. Hey, 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 hey. Is the fucking thing open? Oh my fucking god. Did dad move? Oh my god, what did I do wrong? He probably didn't watch enough TV with him. Because I know he opened, he moved them. Um. What is back there? If there's so you found a safe, a combination earlier, and that's the safe over there. And there's something in the safe. I can't remember what it is. And jump over those boxes? No. You, she'd hit her head on the ceiling. Oh, well, life's hard sometimes. She, I think if anybody knows that at this point, it's me. <laughs> hey, granddad's clock. Hey, granddad. God, it's us. It's just us. Home and us. Look at her ancestor right above her head. I don't know what this feeling is, but I'm not going to cry today. Her, that's just an awesome person that they know. That's not her ancestor? Oh, it's just her. From the future. Yeah, I never skipped watching TV with him on my first playthrough, so I'm guessing that's what it is. We're going to eat you for Thanksgiving, bird. <sighs> that's so mean. I don't think that's true. <laughs> I yeah, feel like but cats we're... eat birds. I mean, yes, but these cats also eat tacos. Bird tacos. What? Bird tacos. Oh, I mean, we don't know. They could be chicken. Reread yes. some of these. I mean, I got time, and the cozy months are coming. Shapes from beyond the veil of space. Okay, yeah, let's go with that one. Let's see what the back of the book says. Released in 1937, Shapes from Beyond the Veil of Space is a towering achievement and marks the start of the weird gothic genre, an influence on much of, the, of 20th and 21st century horror, science fiction, and pulp literature. 
Shapes is sure to make you question just how far away the night sky is from you at this moment. Cool. Chicken tacos are bird talk. Ah, oh, I can't. Chicken tacos are bird con ta contos. Yep, yep, yep. Bird contos. <laughs> May honey, is that you? Yeah, I'm back in the kitchen if you want to talk. Mother, I always want to talk. Let me tell you about this cult. Hey, sweetie. Hey, mom. How are you feeling? Good enough to jump up here. Can you do me a favor and stay home tonight? Sure, mom, or why? Why? It's been, I just, I, you're an adult and you can do whatever you want, but you do live here and you are still my baby. Aw, mom. We need to come up with some ground rules just because, honey, you could have died the other night and then you just left to hang out with your friends. I, I, I'm so sorry, mom. Sweetie, what's going on with you? I've had a really tough year, mom, or I don't even know if I can tell you. Had a really tough year. Hun, you've had a tough week. We all have. Yeah, but what happened at school, hun? I don't care what it is. Just please tell me. Are you working today? No, me and your father are both off today. I'll be around tonight. We can talk about it then. Sure. We can make breakfast for dinner like we used to. Dad can flip the pancakes in the air. Ha ha ha. Sure. Are you going out today? Yeah. Can you please stay in town? Close? Yeah, mom. I think they're getting some of the longest night decorations out. Oh, wow. Calling for some snow, too. That went fast. <laughs> what did? The fall? Always does, hun. Okay. Well, I'm off. I love you, sweetie. I love you, too, mom. I'm not done with you yet. Are you still reading the same book? Oh, no, this is a different one. This one's about people who died in the mines around here. Oh, cool. Yeah, it's very interesting. It's got some old songs. Want to hear one? Sure, or maybe later? Sure. That's the right answer. Far from here, the ocean's roaring, far away across the din. I hear the Lord a call their children, bringing in, bringing in. I'll see you walking through the barley. We'll find each other, friend and kin. I hear the Lord a call their children, bring them in, bring them in. Tarry with me for a moment, talk the places we have been. The Lord will call us both to heaven, bring them in, bring them in. Beautiful. That's nice. It is, it is nice. Never done. <laughs> okay, now I'm done. <clears throat> it's dad. Hey dad. No work today? I told Bob to shove it. Really? No. You okay? Yeah, I'll be fine. Not gonna sugarcoat it. I hate my job. Aw oh, dad, why? I've mined, I've made glass, I've done a heap of other stuff, but this place, they just don't respect you for working. They don't? Job's supposed to pay you enough to live. Job's supposed to let you provide for your family. Job's supposed to have regular hours. Boss is supposed to respect you. Worker's supposed to be able to talk. Worker's supposed to be able to have a life. Worker's supposed to be able to live. Your mom always had to work, but I wanted to give you and her your time. I wanted her to have hobbies and enough time and money to do them. That's what made me happy. Now I just work so I can keep our health insurance and hold on to the house, try to at least. Is there anything you can do? I mean, we do need a union. It's just easier to say it than get it done. Unions were always there in the mines and the factory, at least for a while. But here, listen, I'm gonna be around tonight for dinner. Wow, what's the occasion? <laughs> well, mom said we could make breakfast. Ooh, sounds good. I was gonna talk about some stuff. Okay, maybe we can talk about your stuff too? Just one big, uh, stuff session? That sounds great, kitten. Love you, dad. Love you too. Be back later. What are you doing out here, by the way? Getting an early start on our longest night's lights plan. Gotta dig them out of the closet, see if they even work still. Can I help put them up? We'll see, you're a small fry. Dad. Okay. Up or down? Up. Platform. <sighs> <laughs> you're a hater. Not a hater, I'm just trying to make you better. <laughs> It's a shame because there are a lot of really cool platformers and I just, man, <laughs> if it wasn't for the story, I would not play this game. That's not true because like the story is everything about this game, but like, and the art's really cool, but 
it would be hard for me. Yeah, Mary does just want me to suffer. She's mean. Yeah. I should start doing my own laundry. Yeah, you should, May. It's a stupid thing to say. Sometime. You're 20 years old. You can do your own you laundry. You manage someone else doing your laundry. It sucks. <laughs> Got to see Mr. Chazikov. Hey, May. Hey, Mr. Chazikov. Got any more dust stars we can look at? One more. She burned her eyes again like a dum dum. She, May has learned many lessons, but not the lesson of not looking through the telescope right at the sun. She's only 20, she's got time. I don't understand why my congestion has gotten worse in the snow. Um, I don't know. That's a good question. Like, that doesn't make any kind of sense. There she is. Found it. Let us consult the guide. Erskine? Erskine? So-and-so, the fire maker. The fire maker? A wanderer in the cold and dark, making a fire and huddling up to it. For light and warmth. Sounds festive. Sounds like survival. Hmm. This star makes me want to cry. Crying? On my roof? Do you wish to talk about it? No, it's fine. Is it a happy cry or a sad cry? I don't know. I don't have great words for it. It is okay. Sometimes too many words. Yeah. Thank you for this. Thank you for joining me. I think we have discovered them all. Well, we didn't really discover them, right? I mean, someone else already saw them and named them. Wrote a whole bunch of stuff about them. And we just, like, found Fucking what they made Huh? It's so fucking snowing. <laughs> is that so snowing right? harder? It is, uh, it is snowing pretty hard right now. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm just so annoyed because every time it's like, ooh, there's gonna be snow. It never snows, so I'm never worried about it. <laughs> yeah. Oh, I am forever fucking scarred by this snowstorm. Now, if anybody says it's gonna snow, you're gonna be like, it's gonna snow ten inches for eight weeks in a row. Yeah, work all the overtime you can. <laughs> anyway, sorry, I just looked outside and it was still fucking snowing. <laughs> uh, found what they made for us. Is that not a discovery? Not really. Maybe not in the historical sense. We did not create the stars or name them. But we had these autumn afternoons and found them together. Isn't that something? Something, something, something. My granddad said something like that once. Something about a story having really happened because hearing it happen to you. That is nice. It's not bad. There they all are. Oh, look, we found them all. All of our friends in the, in the space. <laughs> Got an achievement. So what now? Super moon is coming. What is that? A giant moon! Ooh, that does sound super. You must come meet me when it happens. It will be late at night. There will be others on their roofs. Roofs? You will come. I will make the hot chocolate. What a time! That sounds great. I want to see a super moon. Plan on it. See you later, Mr. Chazikov. See you soon, Stargazer. Okay. Let's see if I can get down. I figured it out once. If I just That's press enough. If I just press all the buttons, it's fine. Snow coming. Gonna be bad this year. Really? <laughs> Prophecy. Hey May. Sup Selmers. You okay? After the whole like head injury thing? Yeah, I'm alright. Headache is all. I got some migraine meds if you need it. Nah, it's not a migraine. And those things make me have to be. Mr. Chazikov is great. He's a good guy. We all need a Mr. Chazikov. Rambo is my Mr. Chazikov. Hmm? Rambo is my Mr. Chazikov. That's <laughs> I'm trying to imagine that, and it's good. Rambo freaked out this morning. My mom called me. For some reason, my mom called me on FaceTime. I was like, what's that work? And he freaked out because he kept hearing her and, like, kind of saw her, and he was, like, having a heart attack. Oh, my God. 
He kept like looking outside, and then he just like puts his head out outside the window. And Aww. anyways, go on. It's the caffeine. If you ever take pills that make you pee, it's the caffeine. I didn't know that. Used to work at the pharmacy. Oh right. Well, if I ever have a headache or need to pee, I'll come by. Anytime, neighbor. Okay, so one thing I want you to pay attention to as we go through this, because I was very tired, um, is who's missing from the town. Just keep, keep that in mind. Alex would like Joey to evaluate the general spiciness of the weather. Joey's downstairs. <laughs> I feel like it's gotta be negative spicy. Summers, you don't have another poem for me? That's From this group? Just in general, because I know there's at least one person missing. Missing. That very much does answer the question. The amount of rock salt isn't the problem. We don't have enough damn trucks for this thing. Cars slip sliding all up and down this goddamn hill. Colleen, half tempted to just close the road when the storm hits. Oh yeah, good, let's just give up. It's not giving up, Colleen. I'm sick of you undermining me. It's a bad idea, that's not undermining. It's undermining. I'm on Colleen's side on this one. Well, that's just great. That's just peachy pie, ain't it? Okay, fine, we'll just close all the roads. Let's close down the whole damn town. Your ideas are always the most important and the most thought out. What the? We gonna do another water balloon toss? I nearly froze to death last time. I still have the sniffles. I think we can all agree it's too cold for water balloons. Yeah, Kathleen, too cold for another stupid idea. Go to hell, Colleen. We could just hire some private plows. If you want to go against the DOT union, go right ahead. We got agreements with the county and state. Colleen's right on this one, too. If you two agree so much, why don't you just get married already? Ugh. I'd rather die. I'd rather die. I'd rather break my own femurs with a cinder block. Alright, well, now that that's settled, what are we doing about the road? Break for food? Great idea. I'm starving. See, we can still make decisions. Ha ha ha. Move out, troops. I'm an adult. <laughs> I'm an adult! That's exactly what adulting is like. <laughs> Alright. Tunnel. Church. Tunnel. Lori. B. Rats. Wow. Tunnel. Okay. Let's see if anybody's missing. Okay, fisherman? He's here. I was wondering if fisherman was, was gone. When winter come and water freeze, here the fish can be at ease. The tunnel is not flooded ruin, it's a home, a place for doing. Sure, that works. Please go away. <laughs> One last time, Mary. One last time. There he yep. Is. He's jerking it. He's jerking his pierogi. <laughs> That's horrible. Oh, Sorry. hey, Miss Rosa. Oh, hello, May. Feeling better? As well as to be expected, I suppose. That's good. Did you want to talk about your grandfather? Yeah. Possum Springs was built on our backs and the backs before us. Time was they didn't pay the people in real money. Paid in little tokens and bills stamped with the company name. Good at the company store for company goods. Back in school they showed us some of those. Weird quarters and stuff. Your grandfather remembered. His daddy experienced it firsthand. Mine boss came into town driving a big fancy car. Night I met your grandfather. A real bastard, that boss, God forgive him. Your grandfather run runs out of the dance. I think he was a bit drunk or just stupid in some brave way. He shouts, the guts of all bosses. He all of a sudden has a hunting knife from somewhere, and he slashes the boss's tires. Ha ha ha, wow. Picks up a rock, put it through the windshield, then he climbs up. I'm sorry, this part is a bit rude. Holy shit, don't stop. He pees through the windshield hole. <laughs> this is amazing. Did they catch him? Nah, just me and a few other folks saw it. I trot over to him and we run off down the alley, past the AOK -okay drugstore. Big field, big parking lot nowadays. We'll never know where May gets it. It's true. Stars fat and bright. I guess we were both pretty drunk. One thing led to another. Oh, okay. Wait. When was this? A uh, very long time ago. Was he... So what happened with the car? Wait, what was the station there? Um... Did they have sex, and if so, was there a baby? Oh. Because so far we haven't heard of anything about May's grandmother. His grandmother's a dog. <laughs> <laughs> Got towed away. Police couldn't get no witnesses. We weren't snitches about that kind of thing. Damn right. So like I said, you got troublemaker blood. 
geez, I never knew this. I don't think your daddy even knows. I bet not. You gonna tell him? Yes or no? Yes. Yes. Sometime. Maybe. I wanted to pass this story along to you. It was one night, one thing he did, in a lifetime of nights and things he did. What you want to do with that is part of your story now. Go find the car. I can't talk much more for today. I'd like to know more about him. This was crazy. I'll see you, May. Sooner or later. Okay. Bye, Miss Rosa. Bye for now, May Borowski. The teens! Hey, you guys. Yeah? Stay safe, alright? Wow, thanks, Mom. Are you our new mom? Apparently. Life, man. It goes. Slowly. Nah, dude. Nah. Halloween this year, can we dress up as teens? <laughs> <laughs> Truly the scariest thing on earth. <laughs> In what way are we gonna dress up as teens? I have to wait to see what the trends are. <laughs> we do we find some teens and tell them to dress us? <laughs> just teens, please make us over. Hey. I just have to say that uh, my coworker drove me home the other day, and she's 19. And first of all, I'm 30, and she thought I was in I was in my early 20s, and she said it's because I give off that young kid energy. And I got a young. <laughs> she's like, you you you're you act like you're not you act, but she's like you just got that energy of like youth. And I was like, thanks. <laughs> to the <fine> compliment. <laughs> Oh, and then funny. she said her generation is bad, and I yelled at her, her generation's going to save everyone. <laughs> Ruby care. And I told her she's, they're doing good. Good. Yeah, May's no, approach are. to the teens is <laughs> it's very funny. Uh, where next? Um, church. Take me to church for one last time. One last time. Beautiful. You have the no, voice I'm of an saying. angel, Mary. No. Oh. You're just like Ariana. I hear those whistle tones. Oh, yeah. <laughs> hit me with those... <laughs> hit me with those whistle tones. <laughs> oh, my God. You sound like I'm dying. You sound like a bird. Better than dying. Just hanging out. So I was like mid May coming down, so it looked like she was just like like frozen in this weird <laughs> position. Alright. Well, Nobody's at church today. Is the pastor missing? She's not in the church, but that doesn't mean missing. Because she They may... really didn't seem to like her idea. They may be out here. She was advocating for opening the church up to the homeless people. Yeah, they didn't like that because they wanted to kill them. Right. He'll look a lot friendlier when he's covered in snow. Probably. Where do teens shop now? I feel like <laughs> when we were teens, we shopped at PacSun. There she is. And like Hot Topic. And like Abercrombie. Zoomies. I went into Zoomies the other day because we were looking for wheels for my longboard. And I told Bob, I'm like, I'm like, like I don't think this is a good idea. He's like, well, let's just go look. And he walked in immediately. He was like, this was a bad idea. I'm like, I told you. Why was it a bad idea? Go to zoomies. <laughs> That's fair. You, go, you you go in there and they just try to have these random conversations about you, with you about the most random things that like that they can figure out about you. Yeah, it's awful. Remember the game we used to play? Yep. Hey, zoomies was the hardest one. Well, hey there, May. What are you doing? Oh, just cleaning up. How did the council vote go? We lost. I lost. It was just me pushing for it, really. We've got all this empty space. Could use it for so many things, but... You tried. All we can do. And God will show up. 
when the time is right. Bruce was my friend. Mine too. Bruce was my friend too. You need some help cleaning this place up? That'd be nice, May. There's a rake back in the shed behind the church. Oh, I can't do it now, but... Ha ha ha. Run along, May. So the pastor, she's okay. Okay. I, I am honestly not certain if anybody is missing. It is it is my slack that you keep hearing. This game are just so nice. Hey Nola, are you sending me messages in the Slack too so you can keep hearing that sound? <laughs> I can't read the whole message. Oh, sounding out the distance of thunder. Oh boy. Uh, where next? Or uh, Lori? Is that her name? Yeah. Up on the roof here, if she's up here. On the rooftop. Let's check on the rat babies. I don't. I oh, yeah. don't know that there will be anything else, but. Oh, she's up there. Look at there's rats everywhere. Good. My children. You can do it, I believe. <laughs> I can't open the window! That's everywhere. My babies. What's gonna happen to all this? I guess it's just gonna sit here until someone gets around to throwing it all out. I should, like, steal the good stuff. See what mom and dad think. I'm sure they'll love it. Redecorate the living room. there. Okay, now I got another update on my phone that also feels like uh, the Earth and Dystopia. Okay, hit me. The people are scared. The people are scared. The arrival of 50 polar bears prompted an emergency situation in a small Russian town. I saw that. 50! That's a lot. I'm oh, Honestly, I'm glad there are 50 polar bears left to invade this small Russian town. Right? I feel the same way. There are 50 polar bears? That's great! 50 of them! There are 50 of them still! Hey, you okay? Hey. I heard you were, like, in the hospital or something? Haha, -ha, yeah. What for? Fell into a room. Sounds like a very polarizing issue for that town. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Fell into a ravine while running through the woods at night. Why? Um, chased by a death cult of conservative uncles. Alright, you don't have to tell me. So you're really okay? Yeah, just been a weird few days. Okay, I got worried. Look, it's snowing in the game! <sighs> this game is cursed. Life mirrors are- Update! It's still snowing really fucking hard outside! I know, it is snowing really hard. Oh, I'm super tough. Nothing's gonna get me anytime soon. Oh good, that's good. I cleaned up my kitchen this morning. Nice job. I think there's I somebody up, up there, but I can't get up there. Oh. Oh well. I did some cleaning today, too. Whoa! I vacuumed, even. Wow. Hey, it's you. I know, back in the box. Yep. So there. Uh, for now, at least. You know I never got your name. I'm the janitor. I clean up, do fix-its, whatever needs done. Oh, okay. So what's it been like the being- The town home again? janitor? The town janitor. He's like Digger Dan. Oh my god. Things, <laughs> things like you remember him? Kinda, or no? Oh. No. No. I don't know. I don't even remember today. Sounds like you've been through something. How did you know? Call it experience. I swear some mornings I feel every bit as old as these trees. You know, something big did happen, and I feel like I should have woken up today and, like, have learned something. But I don't know if I learned anything, really. 
well. In my experience, the big things don't teach you anything, but they make you something. And sometimes you gotta wait a while and see what come of it. Huh. Well, done an honest day's work. Quitting time. Smelter's game tonight. See you around. Not if I see you first, May. Ha ha. Wheeze. Ha ha ha. So the janitor wasn't in it. Starbucks drink. I like that Starbucks fucking <laughs> drink that guy has. Wait, how did you know my name? Because the janitor was the fucking ghost. Janitor, Mr. Janitor, Lord Janitor, Bob Janitor. Thought I could get a job as a janitor and really enjoy it. No, oh, you couldn't. <laughs> you don't believe that? No. Oh. So I'm gonna split part time? How do they not have the hours? It's a huge store. How do they not have hours? They got a computer program. It's all hooked up to some kind of mainframe or something. It spits out the optimum schedule for all the employees. Manager can't do much about it. Computer don't play favorites. Yeah, I guess you can't argue with a computer. Did Nancy give you hell? Nah, she did laugh though. I laughed too. We still gonna do that movie? Yeah, let's find a night where we're all off. I'm off Tuesdays. I'm off Sundays. Thursday's my only night off. We can all put in requests. I didn't realize they weren't done. Drinking, drinking, smoking, drinking. All right. Let's go see B. At the old pickaxe. Never mind. Can't go. S oh, yeah, she closed it for the day. Despite the fact that the sign says, yes, we are open. Also advertising, write a Yelp review. I'm gonna leave the old pickaxe about a Yelp review. Look at this guy. It's a well, frog. Ball sure is ending. It's a frog. I think it looks like a lizard. I think it looks like a blizzard. Oh! Sure looks that way. <laughs> I've uh, never seen you around before. I spend a lot of time indoors, but it's nice to take a break. And I like the cold. It's brisk today. Brisk. Sometimes I stand in the cold with my arms out and let a gust of wind pass over me. It chills me out a bit. Like this? Yeah. Is it working? Yeah? Or, nah, still warm. Uh, still warm. Well, you don't want to get too cold. Just a bit. Then you can go and get a coffee or a hot chocolate or something. The endless cycle of life. It's cozy. The endless cozy cycle of life. Jeez. I hadn't thought about how cold I was getting out here until you mentioned it. It's snowing. I know. Sorry. You don't have to apologize. I'm from Canada. I have to apologize. I'm gonna put my arms down now. I agree. Lizards should be careful about being out in the cold. That's why it's always inside. But he comes outside sometimes to get cold. Just for the experience. Maybe that's like he's an adrenaline junkie lizard and that's like a serious adrenaline yeah. rush for a lizard. That's probably a good idea. The blood all ran out of my arms. Okay. Numb arms. Angus. What the fuck? It's Angus. Nobody's here. Nobody's manning the store. What if I wanted to rent Be Nice or Swamp Husband? Steal them all. Steal the DVDs. I can't. The top. Holy crap. Uh. Ah, a taco place! This is the best thing that's happened to this town since they got rid of all those snakes in the diner, or we got internet. They got rid of all the snakes in the diner. The owners were religious, and they called in a preacher from one of the holiness camps up in the hills, and he got in there and yelled at the snakes to leave. The next day after he died, they just set the traps. <laughs> what? <laughs> Nobody knows where they came from or why they moved in, but they're long gone now. God. Life moves on, huh? Oh my god, they deliver! <laughs> I'm gonna eat the shit out of some tacos! Taco Buck, now hiring. Taco artisan, delivery drivers, all shifts, eight bucks an hour. So you're a taco dude now? I mean, I was hired to be a taco artisan. But I guess that means holding the sign out in the snow. It's not really snowing that hard. It's snowing. There's snow in the sky, falling. There's me! <laughs> How are the tacos here? Good, I like tacos. There is not one person on God's earth who doesn't love tacos. Bad news. <clears throat> I don't really like tacos. Yeah, it's Mary. She's the one person. 
Bad news, my ex hates tacos. Good news, they're now your ex. Soft tacos. <laughs> Have fun with the tacos. Eh, it pays. Taco Buck, dine in, dine out. We deliver. Please tip your delivery persons. Best tacos in all of this general region. Region, pretty sure. Nola says you have to break up. Well, I like soft tacos. But think about I it this way. I just don't like hard shell tacos. Think about it this way. When you have taco night, you don't have any competition. None. They're all your tacos. That is true. Mm. Been missing the pizza place? Why not try a pizza taco? Oh wow, that sounds amazing. Watching your health? Try our I'll try out all lettuce taco. That's no, not a taco. I refuse. <laughs> Get out of here, kid. I'm working. Well, yeah, this is who I thought. Uh, no notice there's a person missing. Who were they? Just two guys. Hmm. Oh, is he the guy? Was he Lurv? He may have been Lurv. I mean, he's sitting outside of a bar, so I'm gonna assume that he's Lurv. <laughs> Seems like the name of somebody who would sit outside of a bar. Yeah. What's up, Greg? Well, look who's alive and well. Is that a surprise? Nah. Just seems like... relevant. Well, look who's alive and well, you too. Yeah. Yeah. You want to get out of here? Do band practice? I'm gonna go with not yet, cause I want to go out to the other end of town. I'm glad that their their work schedule is completely based on what May wants to do. <laughs> well, to be fair, they did point out that Greg leaves work whenever he wants. Yeah. And he doesn't get in trouble for it. Rats! Rats everywhere. Who's in here? Oh my god! So many rats! My babies! <laughs> my little rat babies! Well, not so little anymore. You've made it. You've broken free. It's a miracle. I'm just gonna enjoy this moment for a bit. Don't mind me. Just May and her rat babies. No germ out here? Nope. <laughs> May Borowski is the re real rat queen. Suck it, weeb. <laughs> it is weeb, right? He's not weeby. That's the Donkey Kong guy. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> I wasn't sure if it would do something different when I went back in. Does every small town have an abandoned grocery store where they just don't put anything in there? Yeah. I always wanted them to turn it into a rolling rink. I thought that'd be cool and no one would go. I would go. Sure. Fine, it'd be my own private roller rink. We had some kind of audio archive where you heard a pronunciation of his name. Then I'd have to go listen to it. Nah. Alright, let's do band practice. Are you ready to read me some lyrics, Mary? Um. um. I want to hear those whistle tones. <coughs> <laughs> God, this door just does not like to open. Bet it's worse in the summer. So did you all get keys to the back door? Greg got one and we made copies. How do you even get a key? I have no idea. Where's Greg? Oh yeah, he had to spring Angus from work. What does that mean? Zero clue. Huh. I'm a little unclear about how both of them still have jobs, since they seem to just up and leave work early a lot. There's a lot about those two I don't understand. I think they just plain need each other. Greg more than Angus, I think. I don't think Angus would agree. That's because it wouldn't occur to Angus to think otherwise, because Angus is an extremely nice person. Greg's a nice person, or do you not think they'll last or something? Greg's a nice person. Oh 
Oh yeah, he definitely is. But he's also bratty and irresponsible and has like zero attention span. Greg needs a parent as much as he needs a boyfriend, and he's really lucky Angus is a little bit of both. Angus thinks Greg, like, saved him. Listen, I'm not saying he didn't if he thinks so. Angus might also just be attracted to really sincere guys in leather jackets who carry knives. I mean, if I met the right guy, those would all be pluses. It's Agreed. true. Jeez, you've thought this out. Before you came back, they were the only people I hung out with most of the time. I've had a lot of time to study. So, like, how are you? I'm, uh, good, or I don't even know. If you gave me an answer, I didn't hear it. Mary! Did I lose you? I've lost Mary. What happened to Mary? Oh? Uh, hello? 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 I heard you for a hot second. Oh, I see, I see. Can you hear can me? Can you hear me? Can you hear me? Hello? Hi, I can hear you. Okay. I lost you. Yeah. Hold on, I need to stretch. Ugh. Oh, that was a good stretch. Okay. Uh, B asked how May is. Is May a uh, good? I cannot hear you, Nola. You better speak up. You better speak up, Nola. Uh, is May a uh, good or don't even know? A uh, good. I'm a uh, good. Really? I feel like right now I could convince myself I was fine or completely shattered. Just like stuck in neutral. You? Um, not great? Had a dream the world was ending. Might be. Do you think we're safe? No idea. Great feeling. Yep. So, like, I'm a little confused about what even happened last night. Well, there's apparently a death cult of dads, or the whole cosmic horror thing? A uh, death cult of dads. Also, can I just say that um, I don't like it when people call lipsticks lippies. <laughs> just my hot take of the day. <laughs> Why did that come up? I was looking at my Instagram and someone's like, how do you like to organize your lippies? Mm. Death Cult of Dads is a good band name. It sure is. Or was. Dads is what you name your 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 emo band when it's 2019 and you used to be in the emo band and now <laughs> your emo band is comprised of the a bunch emo, of people. Emo band dad super group. Yeah. Death, Death Cult, Cult of Dads. Dads. So it's like a bunch of people who were in emo bands that are now dads. Yeah. Who knows? Singing about like songs, but instead of about ladies, they turn them into songs about being dads. <laughs> and then there's that there's that one creepy guy who's like, "I'm a daddy," and everyone's like, "Stop." <laughs> there's like eight people who I could think of that would be that one. It's a big band. It's like what's that one band that has a it's million the people? The Polyphonic Spree. Yeah. <laughs> I can't believe they even exist or existed. Probably take them a few days to die. Yep. I don't know. I kind of understand them in a weird way. Really? It's like a porch light that's on, and there are all these bugs around it, and then the light goes out, and there's a hole where the light was. It's like what happened to me way back, like I was telling you about on the couch last night. Holy crap, that was last night. The Polyphonic Spree is definitely my new band. <laughs> Where we all wear dark robes and chant into the night. Seems like two lifetimes ago. Haha, <laughs> yeah. The world is extremely bad. Yes, yes it is. Weird question. How do you, like, get up every day and go open the store and keep doing it? I don't really have a choice, do I? I mean, you definitely do. Or I guess not. I guess not. But still, lots of people would be, like, destroyed by what you've been through. My mom was extremely tough and smart. When I found out she was going to die, it just didn't occur to me that she was fragile. Like, we're all fragile. I don't want to let her down, I guess. I can't not give a shit. I mean, I do the store, and our bills at home, stuff with the Chamber of Commerce. 
I'm doing free study courses online, and I'm a member of the Young Sh Socialists. Heck yeah. I sleep a lot and sometimes eat pizza. To each according to their ability. Well, on the bright side, you got me. Heh <laughs> heh, yeah. We can fix the world together. Yep, fix it right up. We fixed that furnace. I fixed that furnace. Well, I fixed us getting trapped in the basement. You sure did, mate. You sure did. Ugh, I guess last night wasn't so weird. It was pretty weird. Old men killing the youngs and the poors to get back some past that barely existed. Same old, same old. Did you know this game was in development for like a long ass time and yet it came out in 2017? Came out in 2017? Wild. <laughs> They're like ghosts in some old mansion killing the new owners. Makes you want to either give up or try harder. Or get really upset and take a nap. Yeah, naps fix everything. Or like drop an elevator on them. That works too, I guess. So, have you had any new uh, rat problems at the shop? Uh, yeah, how did you know? I heard there were some rats around town. Makes me happy for some reason. Well, there's no such thing as a small rat problem. There's just going to be more of them. Hope springs, rats multiply. Cute, we literally sell rat poison. They're going down. We'll see. Hey, speaking of nothing, how good is your car? Good how? Like, can it drive real far? May, do you know anything about what? We should, like, do a road trip. Yeah, the death cult is a very good metaphor for boomer culture. And it's one of those things where I have, I totally understand why people don't, like, jive with the kind of, like, chthonic god thing. But at the same time, it feels extremely apt to me for a number of reasons, which I will yep. discuss in the episode, because I can't steal my own thunder. <laughs> that would be bad. To where? Out west. It gets all flat. That it does. We can go where it's really flat, and they sell barbecue. Or, and you can see, like, the world's largest pierogi. Heck yeah! Largest pierogi! <laughs> or a museum of toy rocket ships. Or a factory where they make pretzels. Or a house- I'm sorry, but May is in love with B. <laughs> in no world is she not in love with B. <laughs> I mean, okay, but think about it this way. I feel like, at times, our friendship has been like this. I guess that's And we true. are not in love with one another. This is not to say I, I do- Girl. This is not to say I do not support May and B 100% because I do. Do not I guess that's true. Do not question me. I'm just saying. I guess that's true. A that's lot of people a lot of people have read our friendship as more than a friendship. This is also true. <laughs> How many times have our families been like are you seeing a lady? Are you sure? Is it are you are you dating Missy or are you dating Mary? Yeah. No. No. I'm not. I just have a friend, okay? We're just really good friends. We're just really good friends. We are literal gal pals. <laughs> we, are, we are literal gal pals. Yeah. Oh, God. It's so bad. <sighs> uh, congestion? Yeah. There's like, <laughs> this is gross. I'm on Twitch, and I'm going to tell you about this. There's, like, a big old booger way up in my sinuses, and when I breathe in, it, like, flaps around. You know what Blow I'm saying? Blow it out! I can't! Blow it's it out. so far up there. I think this is mm -hmm. what neti pots are for. I just threw my neti pot away because I didn't want to get a brain amoeba. Oh my god. You just have to make sure you use good water. I certainly don't use distilled water in my neti pot. Well, boil the water. I don't know if that's enough. I think you have to distill it. Hmm. So you don't get a brain amoeba. Or a house that looks like a big chicken. I could... Okay, let's talk about it next year. I'll start planning it now. I thought you couldn't leave home because of your issue. Eh, you're home enough. I mean, if we're trapped here together, we might as well be trapped out there together. I mean, if we're not dead by then, lol. You have a way of making doom sound like a lot of fun, Mayday. This is actually kind of a gift. God damn this door. I think God already has. There they are. Hey guys. Sup nerds. Psh, it's you who are the nerds. Or how did you get Angus out of work? 
Uh, it's you who are- No, how'd you get Angus out of- How'd you get Angus? That's my- How did he get Angus out of work? I made up a family emergency. My uncle got run over by a tractor. Haha, <laughs> wow. I mean, he did in real life, too, but that was years ago. Hey, Greg, so... I didn't really know Casey. Yeah. I just wanted to say I'm really sorry. Yeah, thanks. Casey was a good one. Casey was good. Should we, like, tell his parents? Probably, or no? Uh, probably. What do we tell them? I don't know. Can we, like, make up something that sounds real? Oh, what, the truth isn't real enough? No, you're right, the truth is insane. So, like, what do we do? About Casey? No, like, in general. Can we think about this tomorrow? Can we just play a song and get a pizza? I don't think song and pizza is an answer, really. Can we that just... Is. Song and Pizza is not an emo band name, but it is a, it isn't a name of a band like that band that you showed me the other day. What band? The with the song Stinky Man. Oh yeah. Graduated Life? Uh one of those bands, yeah. One of those. Song and so, what was it? Song and Pizza? I feel like they that could be a band like that. Can we just be normal for like one day? I don't know how today can possibly feel normal. When I was in that coma or whatever, or when I was down there last night. When I was down there last night. When I was down there last night. I, like, made the decision not to die, or at least not to die without a fight. And the thing down there told me nothing would save me forever. Wait, it was, like, talking to you? It's been talking to me for a long time. I just didn't know what it was. But anyway, like, nothing is going to save us forever, but a lot of things can save us today. That's really pretty, May. Haha, <laughs> thanks. Like, I, I totally made it up. Like, right on the spot last night. I said it before. You're good with doom. Doom, doom, doom. So anyway, song and pizza. We earned it by still being alive for another day. That's a decent reason. Decent. 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 Silence. Oz is the pauses in this. That's it? That's it. Huh. That was the end of the game. That was a good game. Did you like it? <laughs> I didn't hear what you said, so I said, did you like it? And it's a silence on your end. No, I said I said I did. <laughs> I really, really like it. It's, it's like up there with my favorite games. I, I feel like the cult worked for me it worked for me too and i thought it would work for you it really worked for me because how often have we heard specifically on facebook from small towns that are like kill the homeless yeah i mean i look at my next door neighbor all the time i know i was really afraid may was gonna <clears throat> die um i think a lot about like the treatment of the homeless in our community and just the utter and absolute lack of sympathy mm -hmm. that people have and the way that people behave as if that's the real problem and I think the fact that it's May that that meets with the thing I think like I think it's debatable mm -hmm. whether there is a thing or not right mm -hmm. Um, I personally, I'm glad they thank the gremlins. I'm not sure who the gremlins are, but I'm glad they got credit. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> uh, I'm not sure that the thing, the black goat, is real in the Pam Wishbow. That's, hey. Yeah, Pam Wishbow. That's that great art. Yeah. Um getting distracted. Oh, Nick Terhorst and Tim Schafer. Eco the cat. I'm not familiar with Brit Sabo. I might if I, if I saw their work, but um, I don't think that the thing maybe is literal. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> That's a little spooky. Um, but I think it's significant that May is the one that speaks with it. 
And I think it's significant what she says to it. Mm. Um, and I'm going to put this in the outline immediately so I don't forget. So I don't spoil ourselves, our own discussion. But um, I think this is going to be a big, meaty discussion we have here. Sure is. Which I'm really excited for. I really love this game. It was really good. I know. Like, everything with games is so going sad. On. Yeah, did you expect it? Like, what What did you expect going into this? <laughs> I have many expectations. I definitely didn't expect... I expected a lot of the, um, the, like, weird things going on to actually be the church. Mm-hmm. I would have loved that. I know. To be honest. I think... It would have felt really apt. I think the thing, the thing that separates the church, like this particular pastor, from like pastors we might be thinking of, is the fact that it's really small things, like obviously her advocating for the homeless, but also the fact that she uses gender neutral pronouns for God. Yeah. Like there are certain, there are certain things about her that are quite different. Um, and I don't remember, I could be wrong, but I feel like, like it's implied that Pastor K is not native to Possum Springs. Yeah, I, I, I got that feeling. Yeah. That she's, she's an outsider. Also the fa um, Nola says also the fact that she's clearly gay, but it's never like a thing. Oh, I didn't, I didn't Everybody in this game is gay. Yeah, it's Except true. B, maybe. She only talks about dudes, but whatever. I will tell the les listeners how your presence drastically improved the game, because you know what? It did. I must have missed that. What? She talks about dating women. Oh, she does? I probably missed it. <laughs> um, hi, Bean. There's, a. Uh, every time I've played this game on stream- Oh, May! I was thinking the pastor. Oh. I was like, I didn't- I didn't yeah, notice May that. Guy. Yeah, May super guy. Um, uh, every time I've played this game on stream, I've ended up having like a good conversation. Like, obviously, I already know you, Nola, but like, when I streamed this a long time ago for our first, um, our first extra life stream for a side quest, I ended up having like an 11, 11 p.m. conversation with some stranger about mental health and growing up in a small town. And that's like kind of just what this game does is like there's something that everybody can identify with in it and it's what that's i think that's part of what makes this game like so good and so good to talk about like when we did the live stream at geek girl con the number of people who like the number of people who had already played the game for one and then the number of people who like um who afterwards like mentioned like oh yeah that moment really connected with me too and all of that kind of stuff and it's just kind of like it becomes this like shared experience that we that you have with other people that's a lot deeper than a lot of video game experiences yeah which is well and i think a lot of that has to do with the, 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 the that small town yeah that small town connection because like i was saying small town small town life feels very personal and like it's only happening to those of you in small towns but there are more small towns than big towns and it's actually a lot it's really common yeah like those experiences so it's it's, it's like the shared experience that is really easy to mold in a way where every like a lot of people are going to relate yeah and i would hazard a guess that most of most of us who grew up in small towns felt weird and out of place for it and yeah we probably at some point felt like one of the characters in this game and so when we when we play this game when we connect with other people who have played this game we kind of run into that same that same thing like that there's almost a sense of community even though we didn't grow up together we kind of grew up together yeah there's an essay in the way that the internet has interacted with towny culture that is really interesting yeah there's so there's so much there's just so much um usually we say i think this is going to be a short episode I think this is going to be a long episode. Be a long one. I got a lot of quotes in there. Because um, there's a lot I want to talk about. But that's it for this game. We've done it. We beat the game. What's an extras? Oh, it comes with all the... With Longest Night and Lost Constellation. I've played Lost Constellation, but I haven't played Longest Night. I can't... Unfortunately, I can't play Jackbox. I have stuff I need to get done. 
I took a half day from work, but that basically means the other half to put to do my chores. Oh my gosh. Uh, I want to look at the concept art though. There they are. Oh, look at them. They're babies. Aww. For some reason, the janitor is visiting. Oh my god. Click Clack Diner. Oh man. Sharkle. Oh, you can see the whole town. That's cool. Oh, that's really cool. Church. A food toss game when Alec ordered a burger with a pierogi on it. We went back to Scott and Bethany's old apartment and roughed the whole thing out right then and there. Poor beautiful boy. We didn't do this. This is what I was thinking of, but I wonder what happened here. You put together a robot at some point, but we didn't have that part. Oh. Oh. We missed a concept art. Concept art. <laughs> Few labor murals in the game, which are references to the amazing WPA murals from the 30s and 40s that you can still find all over the U.S. Dance sequence with B. <laughs> the pentagram handshake is based on an actual thing Scott saw at a basement punk show in the late 90s. Lori Myers grew out of a doodle and name. Which dagger outfit? I missed some concept art. Original concept sketches for the park investigation with Angus. Color schemes. Original concept sketch for those guys. You know, those guys. Very early sketches. Someone laid a piece of pizza on it at one point. May had a hot dog shirt too. It was wild. <laughs> I like that you can see the pizza stain. Oh. The idea was to give Demon Tower an extremely metal symmetrical logo. There are pages of these. Miss some concept art. Well. Well, sometime we'll have to do uh, Longest Night and Lost Constellation. I like Lost Constellation. I haven't played Longest Night. Well, I think that's going to do it for us. Thanks for joining us. Hello yeah. and goodbye, Nola, our friend. I'm going to go. Goodbye. Love you, too. I'm going to go. Bye. The next thing on my to-do list is meditating. I'm gonna figure out how to add more than one picture onto an Instagram story. Nice. <laughs> All right. right. Thanks for joining us for our stream of this entire game, and we will hopefully be recording an episode on it this weekend, so long as the snow does not trap us in our houses for any longer. Well, we can always Skype it. Yeah, we can Skype it. Oh, I have to maxitate. That sounds like I'm doing something else. Whoa. All right, I'm out. All right, bye. Have fun with your chores. I will. Goodbye. Bye-bye. Okay,